Hi there, my name is Mina and I'm the nurse injector and aesthetic nurse specialist here at HKB. And today we're going to do some fillers with our lovely model Michelle. And she came to me um, wanting to um, look a little bit more refreshed. She uh, has a big event coming up and she wasn't sure what she needed, but she knows she, knows she needed something. So we did an assessment and she originally said, you know, I would love for my lips to be hydrated. But when I look at her, I feel like she needs some volume in her cheeks. Only because we're starting to see some of this nasal labial fold starting and her tear trough area is becoming elongated. And she's got a, a downward appearance of her face in general. And when we volumize the cheeks in the mid face area here, we kind of can give a little bit of a lift and so this is our goal for her today is to lift her face it helps support the lower lip but giving it some structure and support and also lifts in this nasal label area as well so that's what we're going to start to do today and then we'll we'll work on volumizing her lips as well so she her skin has been nicely numbed with some customized numbing cream that we have and she's had that on for about 20 minutes. And then she's had her skin thoroughly cleaned with some medical grade um, cleanser. I'm just gonna go over it again. And we're gonna use a product that is nice and firm, that really has a good lifting capacity. It's called Juvederm Voluma. And so we can use, there's a couple of products that I like in this area. Juvederm Voluma is one of them, and the other one is Rest and Lift. Both are excellent for lifting and supporting the skin against, um, against the bone. They are both made of hyaluronic acid. And hyaluronic acid is a very natural ingredient in the skin and it works like a humectant. It pulls fluid to the area that it's injected. So it gives that nice support, support structure and um, fullness that we like to see. So here we go with the first injection and I'm going to pick out the area that she, I feel like she needs the most volumizing where I feel like she's a little depressed. So we're going to start there. Let's go a little, little further. I'm going to do just a little bit, little boluses against the bone. Sometimes even in that one injection, you can see the volume starting to fill up the skin. Sometimes you get a little bit of blood coming out. It's pretty normal. And we're just gonna kind of follow her natural bone line. And she's been marked and assessed before today. So I marked her bone how does that feel Michelle it's not bad at all I don't feel much at all oh, nice and soft and simple and just we're just going to carry it across and lift as we do it So when we're thinking of anti-aging, we really want to start in this mid-face area because it really is the area that really holds everything together in the face. It builds structure and kind of frames out the face. And then we can work on some other areas. If you need, you know, some support in the tear trough, the lower lid area, if, if your cheeks are deficient, you really want to treat that first and then work on those other areas. A lot of people come in and say, oh, my nasal oval folds that bother me. Well, let's look at this area first and then we can go down to that area and to look at that. So you can start to see how her face is starting to change shape. It's changing the trajectory of her face going more upwards versus this side is a little bit going downwards. And we'll just continue 
giving her a small little bolus as a filler, amplifying her cheekbone while we're lifting at the same time. Some of the things we like to do beforehand is that we ask our patients to avoid any aspirin or ibuprofen if they're not taking it for medical reasons. If they can avoid it, then we'll ask them to avoid that. We ask them to avoid alcohol as well, only because that does thin the skin a little bit, thin the blood a little bit, and that can make you bleed just a little bit more. So if you can avoid it, we do want you to avoid it, but sometimes that's a difficult request. So if you can't, we just roll with it. And then we um, want to make sure that you're not having any dental work any, any time after any injection of fillers. Sometimes that can, um, can affect, you know, um, the the product that's in the in in the skin as fillers we have to consider it's kind of like because it lasts for so long this product lasts for about two years because it lasts for long we treat it as if it's an implant it's an implantable device so we really want to make sure that you're not going to have any dental or any surgery or anything that could cause an infection about two weeks after you've had any fillers done so that's something that we caution patients before they have fillers to make sure that they don't have that. We have a question. Do the do we do the filler that amplifies the jawline as well? We do, and this is one of the fillers that you can use for that. Restal and lift, volu Juvedin Voluma, um, Radius is also a good one for that area, but we do that and just looking at, you know, make, you know, if you come in, we can make the assessment and figure out which product would be the best one for you. All right, we're just finishing up and I really just want you to kind of just take a look and see one side versus the other to kind of see how much of a lift that she's gotten there. We'll come back and do the other side, but just for the interest of, of Instagram, we're going to um, work on her lips and I'll come back and do her the other cheek. So I'm going to have her rest back down. And we're going to talk about her lips a little bit actually first. Let me have that nice and cleaned up. So she has a very small upper lip, nice full bottom lip, but her upper lip doesn't have much show. And we really want to try and get that little bit more lifted out so she has a little bit more show of the red part of her lip and kind of enhance her border a little bit. So, and we're going to use a product called Restylane Kiss. And Restylane Kiss is um, a product that's very soft and natural but has some structure so it will give her some volume, but not, really, not a, a ton of volume but just enough to give her smoothness and, and that fullness in the upper lip. And that alcohol can be pretty strong, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. She's got a beautiful bottom lip. And she's had the numbing on her lips um, for about the same time, about 30 minutes. All right, Michelle, you ready? Mm-hmm. What we're 
doing but we're creating these little fences as if you will of product in her lip that will help kind of give some structure to it lift it out pull it out volumizing it at the same time and this is also hyaluronic acid so the same substance that was in her cheeks but the makeup the rheology of this is a little different this is a little softer than what we used in her cheeks So the key to the lip is really to find a nice balance and give it not keep it looking hydrated without overly injecting. We have another question. Can you add to the cheeks if you've already had them done? Yes, you can. You know, everybody starts off at different levels as to how much lifting that they need. So if you have filler in the cheeks already, but it's not enough for you, you want a little bit more, then certainly we can add on top of it. Um, and we may choose different products to layer. Product, layer. We have products that can be nice and deep against the bone, and then we also have products that can be a little bit more superficial. It's a product that's pretty new on the market. It's called RH4. That would be ideal to come out, come and put in, um, in and layer it over something that's deep to the bone in the cheeks, and then, and then add it superficially. So we're just enhancing the cupid spot just a lot of that, and we've used very little product, but she's already got a nice fullness in that cheek so i'm sure in that lip i'm sure she would like a little bit more though so we'll continue here i'm sure there's a little twangs michelle i'm mm -hmm. sure you feel a little bit here and there is that it's, right yes but it's not bad at all Set it back up and then I'll finish up some more. So, if you had to rate the pain, what would it be for the lip? Like a one. Oh, you really don't feel much at all. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Another question, do you ever use the small vibrating nerve distraction devices? Mm -hmm. I do. But Michelle is, is a bit of a pro, pro and she wasn't feeling it, so you can definitely use that if people want it. Some people find that that it doesn't work, help at all, but we have it if we need it. Um, so we do use it, yeah. Those are good. I think lips are one of the things people are kind of scared to do because they don't want to have too much volume. But I think as we age, I think smoothness is more is more important than just volume. I think we need smoothness as we age. So I always think a little bit of filler in the lip and an aged lip looks pretty just to help smooth it. Like her bottom lip is nice and full, so I'm just adding some volume to smooth it. I know you feel a little of the pinches. So the lips are, will swell. And they usually swell about four to six hours after treatment and will stay that way for about 24 hours and then they will come and 
and, and kind of calm down. So we will expect to have some swelling the next day and some swelling that night for sure. You can add ice to help with the swelling. Um, you can add some Arnica Montana, which is great for bruising and swelling. That's a product that's over the counter. It's homeopathic that helps with bruising and swelling. Just a little bit here. Because while well, this is nice and hydrated, I just want this to be a little less obvious. So, adding it there. typically do got a little bit left I would have her look in the mirror and ask her what she wants to see different she wants more in the upper lip or is she okay with it because lips are very difficult thing it's one of those that people are afraid to do that first time afraid of what they're gonna look like so I'm gonna let you look and you tell me what you would like to see if you guys see a little bit more in the upper lip or well, you're okay neat. with it. You've got a little bit left, so. Mm -hmm. so I think it can... looks good, but if, the, if you see something that you think needs a little bit more, then. I think, I think, I just want to make, I'll give you an idea of mm -hmm. what it's going to look like. So it's great. It's really swollen. So. Yeah, it looks good. So I'm going to add a little bit more volume on that top lip. very gently. Okay. Give me a big smile. Awesome. All right. I can just relax. If she wanted a little bit more lip show than what we have, this kind of averted her lip about as much. We could always do a little bit of what we call a lip flip, and that's using some neurotoxin, Botox, Dysport, Juvo, 
in the upper lip and that will help further lift that, li um, that upper lip out. Working on just some of these little fine lines that she's got with a little bit that we have left over. Supporting the lip by injecting the corners or the marionette lines. It just gives the lip a little bit more, the lower lip a little bit more support. Now she has a pretty short area here. This is the fulcrum. And hers is pretty short, but some people as we age gets really quite long and we can inject those and so we can really create these columns here and it helps lift up the lip as well. Hers is pretty nice, so I'm not gonna do anything there for her, but we can inject that area too if that's something of concern or a need. All right, let me get you all cleaned up. almost done. I might want to do a little bit of disport in her forehead. And I'm going to just choose to do just a little bit in her forehead. Just go ahead and raise your eyebrows for me. And you can see she's got some night, uh, some diffuse lines there. And I want to put a little bit of disport in there just to soften those lines up so she'll have a nice smooth forehead. We've got a question. Do we offer ZMN? Um, we are currently not using G ZMN. We have um, Dysport and Botox and Juvo, but ZMN we don't. And I, it's not that, I think we just don't have it because we have so many of the others and it's just another choice product. All right, so just a little to support in her forehead to soften those lines as well. So all of these products that we talked about are available at our Beauty Bash, which is almost over. It's, um, it's uh, through to the end of the week. You can go online and purchase some products, or if you feel like you're not sure what to get, you can always have a virtual consult with, with me, or you can email me and I can kind of guide you through what you might want to wanna purchase. Um, because aging is so multifaceted, it's not just injectables, it's skincare, it's skin resurfacing, it's so many different things. And we just wanna do the right thing at the right stage. So sometimes it just makes sense to talk to somebody and then purchase or purchase something and then come on in. And if it's not quite the right thing, if you feel like you haven't purchased what we say or what we think you need, we can make the appropriate adjustments. So don't feel like you don't, you won't get, if you don't have a chance to talk to somebody, just purchase what you think you might need and we'll, we'll make it right when we, when we do the treatments. So hope to see you then. Bye.